Welcome back. You're about to witness the X, the last caveman. After seven suns and seven moons of hunting down big teethy leaky, I finally got him. He was crushed after getting stomped by his foot six times and flipped like a fly with his tail. The one thing that took him down was not your average caveman boulder, which is the size of a bus, but a boulder the size of a house. How you ask? That's for another time. This right here is what I bait him into. It took six miles to the nearest volcano to grab his body in chunks, to roast him over the searing hot flames. Now to try this delicacy. See what all the hype is about. Very tasty, very tender, very hot. Mmm. Oh, this is really good. Oh. Mmm. 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 I have another piece. It was the hottest volcano in all the land. That's where all the flavor comes from. And it's hitting me as we speak. No silky milky this time. Pure last caveman will. I want more? Yeah. Yes. Will I have one now? <coughs> no. It's just uh, near reserve. My strength and my food <coughs> for later hunt. Uh, after slow roasting him over over the top of the volcano, which took a matter of four, four hours, but the roast itself lasted two suns. And it took a mere, for each turn, it took a mere hour. This was no ordinary feat, but an extraordinary feat. And now he is in defeat. As each piece, the intensity of the heat from the volcano grows. And so is my craving for more of it. You see now I've eaten two pieces, almost two and a half. I cannot have any more. For that is for a later time. Back in the cave. <coughs> <coughs> Last caveman don't give in to the heat. As you can tell, Profusely sweating. A little sticky icky on my face. But that's okay. The salt adds to the flavor. So fiery. So yummy. You want to see more? Tune in next time for The Last Caveman.